Welcome back to some more quarantine investments. Surprisingly, these videos have been doing pretty well. It's basically just eBay pickups, but uh, during this quarantine process where I have a lot of time on my hands and uh, kind of showing you what I'm investing in, kind of what I'm looking for, you know, things like that. Today we just have four packages, kind of a quick video. If you haven't, go watch the second installment of this series. Uh, there's a giveaway going on. All you gotta do is comment which card you want. Um, if you want a card, there's a couple of uh, autograph rookies and things like that from last year and some stuff from this year. But uh, yeah, just go check that out if you're interested. I'll be doing the giveaway announcement sometime within the next week or so. But for now, we'll just have four quick packages and I'm going to open up. Uh, I'm not expecting anything too crazy in this one. But then again, I don't remember everything I purchased. This first one is a plain envelope here. Pretty sure this is a Rui. Oh no, this is a Tyler Hero. Uh, just a Tyler Hero certified base card. Uh, I think I paid two dollars in free shipping, or two dollars and a dollar shipping, or something for this. Not a big card. I know people aren't really paying top dollar for uh, certified stuff, but I think they're cool. Um, I think Hero is going to be a good player for years to come. Young guy. He's got a good young team around him, especially if Jimmy Butler decides to stay there. Uh, they're looking pretty good. next one okay this is the Rui I paid uh, I think this one had free shipping on it or I got dollar shipping I'm surprised it came with uh, that package this is another uh, series from optic uh, the rookies uh, these are an insert set but they are a lot less common than your just base rookie cards I think these are really cool I kind of like them uh, more than the base cards a little bit I don't know <laughs> uh, the values are, are weird some people like certain things and not others but yeah just the Rui Hachimura the rookies Donruss optic card not the not a prism or anything but I think I paid three bucks like I said three bucks free shipping this one is just another Morant base prism I think I paid 35 or 30, like 30, 35 bucks for this. Not the best centering on this one, but not the worst either. I can check this over, see if it's worth worth grading or not. If not, I'll just hold on to it and uh, maybe get rid of it down the line. Maybe just hold on to it for a while. Who knows? Another single card, and this is a Hachimura Optic uh, Fanatics Green Wave. These came out of those um, optic complete sets from Fanatics. Uh, there was a complete set of silver waves, and you get a pack of five cards with uh, green waves in them. And uh, this happens to be one of those exclusives. Centering is pretty bad on this. Uh, then again, I think I paid, I want to say, seven bucks for it. So not too bad. Um, you know, whatever. I just got one more package I'm gonna throw in at the end here. Uh, it's the next day, but I only had one in the mail today. Figured to add it to this video, uh, make it a little bit more complete. And I think I know what this is. Yeah. So this is just a Tyler Hero prism lot. Alright, so this should just be 10 Tyler Hero Prism base cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, I think I paid $40 for this. Uh, so about $4 a card. Centering looks actually pretty good on most of these. Uh, like I said, I'll double check everything and uh, see if anything is worth grading and uh, continue from that. This is the only one that looked like off-center just by looking at it from the front. But Prism front and back has been kind of all over the place this year. That's it for this video. You can uh, follow me on Instagram at Red Yeti Breaks if you want to make a deal, if you want to trade for something, or if you feel like buying any of the cards that you've seen me pull or, you know, open. And uh, thanks for watching.